we, we couldn't, uh, uh, I'm sorry. Um, the, um, with, with, with Teddy, I didn't, really, I didn't really appreciate that he was kind of this, somewhat of an icon in this community. And uh, then the more I got to know him, his writing, his scrapbooking, his paintings, I've got beautiful paintings of Teddy's hanging in my home in New York. And, uh, and uh, we went to shoot a film one time, and this is a, another window into Teddy. He didn't, you know, when, when I mentioned that thing about the painting, he didn't draw a lot of attention to himself, which is unusual in my business, you know. And uh, he was very quiet, very peaceful, very humble. Uh, and one time we were shooting a movie up in Canada in 1996, and we were there, and we were based in this village outside of Calgary called Canmore. I don't know if you know Canmore in Alberta. We were in Canmore, and when we were up there in the, in, in the fall, and the, the weather went from being like 75 degrees and you had to wear bug repellent, and by the time we finished in Edmonton, it was 20 below zero, so we experienced a 95 degree temperature change in the three months we were there, and everybody kind of lost their marbles. Like the people on the crew that were married, and you know, they wouldn't found a girlfriend. You know, like the, the, the area was so beautiful and so beguiling. And t this is classic Teddy. He turned to me at one point, like three people I knew on the movie who I, I mean, I thought were happily married, like met a woman and they were gonna move there and leave their family and move to Canmore. And Teddy one day in his uh, kind of, uh, you know, just, you know, uh, metaphysical way, he looked at me and goes, well, Alec, you realize when you rearrange the letters of Canmore, it spells romance. <laughs> and that was Teddy. Teddy, Teddy could see what was really going on in the, in the metaphysical layer of what, what was happening. But, uh, but, but again, Teddy was somebody who, we worked together for over 10 years and I made a lot of films with him and then lost touch with him for quite a while when he moved up here permanently and worked in LA less. But as I said, the greatest lesson of Teddy's life was to explore the people around you, really get to know them. I didn't know Teddy until, you know, like a year or two into knowing him and this whole side of him was revealed to me, this whole magical side of him. And as we all know, I mean, like I want to throw up when people use the word magical to, drive, to describe somebody who isn't, you know? <laughs> My friend will sit there and say to me, I'm dating this woman, she's so magical, you know? I'm like, really? She's magical? I'm like, okay. I, 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 don't go into detail of how magical she is, I don't think I want to know. You know I, mean? I, I get what you're saying, she's magical. And uh, I'm like, oh that, okay, great. But, um, but uh, Teddy was magical. Let's just have a round of applause for how magical Teddy really was. So, now I'm going to, uh, Where are those guys? Where are they? I'm going to bring out the Peterson brothers. Let's hear it for the Peterson brothers. Woo! You, you, you guys, before we do a plug for your restaurants, is there something you want to say about Teddy? Teddy was a really good friend of ours, and uh, we put together a little video with uh, Isaac Olson that we'll show here in a little bit. Um, but happy to be here, and I'm sure Teddy would be super proud of this whole thing. So. Go right ahead. He uh, actually designed our first shirt for our restaurant, which I wore today. So, uh, you all know this shirt. It's a classic. It's a classic. We, we bought, brought a little gift for Alec, you know, to welcome him to Tacoma. What, what might that be? What do you got? Buy one, get one free sandwich at 11 11. Oh, there we go, baby. Next time you're in Tacoma, visit the Peterson Brothers for a buy one, get one free sandwich or, wait a second, we're not done, man. Or you can go to the Valley or Peaks and Pints for a free bottle of hand sanitizer. A free mini bottle of hand sanitizer with every purchase at Peaks and Pints. Let's sing the song, fellas. Let's see the song. The Peterson Brothers, no good food, so you won't throw up on your shoes. Yeah, the Peterson Brothers. <laughs>